So, as social media addicts and scrolling slaves, we've ruined our attention span to the point where we get so impatient when studying takes longer than 5 minutes. Don't worry besties, I got you and I'll not only keep this video short and sweet, but I'll also include study and productivity tips that you've never heard before. A lot of you are having final exams now or are starting school slash university next month, so this video will be very helpful for you, especially since studying, one of the most difficult parts about it is that the process is so slow. So here are a few simple steps to make studying faster. Step 1. Start by studying answers first. This is a study tip that my mom figured out. I've never heard it before on the internet. If you're someone that gets overwhelmed easily, especially if there's a lot of content that you need to study and you just don't know where to start, compile all the questions at the end of each topic and write all the answers down. This could be from textbooks, exercise books, quizzes, or lectures. Then study the answers first. My mom would do this for me back in primary school and I continued this all the way in university where I would take the questions from each lecture and study the answers first. In college or secondary school, you can do this with the questions that are in your textbook or buy exercise books that are separated by topic. By studying the answers first, I find that I get a very complete summary of the topic that I'm going to study. Second, a lot of answers are in point form which is really easy to digest. And lastly, you can immediately identify the important parts of each topic. Highlight them in your textbook or lecture notes that you're going to study and just skip to them straight away. If you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to subscribe and like this video. The best subjects I find to do this for are factual and process-based subjects like biology or history that can get pretty long-winded. For subjects like mathematics, you can study the answers to get a feel for what's important in the topic, but it's not as effective because you do need to learn everything step by step before you can even understand the answers. So, the next step when it comes to studying faster is to spend more time learning the basics. <sighs> I know. Everyone says that, but how do you do it and why? Understand basics by reading through the subtopics, learning objectives, and illustrations of the previous topic first. Make sure that you've roughly understood these before moving on to the next topic. If you're still unsure, then revise them. If you have that one subject that makes you so angry when you study it because you just don't understand anything, no matter how hard you try, the problem is most likely that you don't understand your basics and your foundation is weak. Take a day or two or a week to follow all these steps and properly understand the earlier concepts and you'll most likely see your problem get fixed. Understanding basics is incredibly important for subjects that depend on your understanding of prior concepts like mathematics, economics, and chemistry. Basically, any subject where you feel lost if you study a later topic before revising an earlier topic. If you get bored or impatient easily when you're revising older concepts, then try using websites like Brilliant. Let's compare these two methods of studying mathematics. Which one would you prefer? Of course you would prefer the right side because questions and answers are just so boring. This is why I love Brilliant, which is the website that I'm showing here. I've talked about it before, like last year, to revive my interest for computer science, I used Brilliant because my lessons went from this to that. It's such a fun way to warm myself up for that subject that I'm studying for that day. Brilliant can also be a fun and non-intimidating way to introduce yourself to a topic that you're considering studying at university, like engineering or mathematics. You can use Brilliant to learn STEM effectively and interactively, whether that be scientific thinking, quantum mechanics, critical thinking, there are literally thousands of classes that you can learn all at your own pace. To try it out for free, go to brilliant.org slash faithfilms linked down below. The first 200 of you will also get Brilliant's annual premium subscription at 20% off. The next step, when you're studying, look out for something. If you're studying a subject with a lot of text in it like biology, history, or English literature, pick one thing to focus on. Here's what I mean, let's use biology as an example. I can choose to circle every keyword that I come across. In English, I can circle every verb that I come across. Basically, if you want to read anything fast and understand what you're actually reading, picking something to focus on will keep you alert. 
This makes sure that I'm actively reading because a lot of us fall into the trap of skimming through the entire topic really quickly and then not understanding anything at the end. I learned this study technique last semester in university when I was studying law and I've never looked back since. The next study tip is write these down. An advertisement might play in the next few seconds, so if you want to support this channel, please do not skip the ads. Thank you! When we're studying a topic, it's really easy for us to fall into the trap where we study a part, then watch many YouTube videos about everything you don't understand in that part, then repeat. So a one-hour study session turns into four hours and you only end up studying three pages. So what you do is, when you're studying, you write down every single question that you have in your head only address those questions after studying that topic. Write the questions and answers in a notebook because there's a high chance you'll need to refer to them repeatedly. This also helps because sometimes I waste so much time trying to understand a concept only for them to explain it later in the textbook. You don't need to answer the questions now too. At least you don't have to start from scratch whenever you revise the topic later on. This is the same for lectures. Watch the whole lecture first before addressing any questions that you have. A bonus tip, writing down distractions is also very useful. If you suddenly have the urge or itch to go on TikTok, Instagram, or go online shopping, write those urges down in your notebook. Do all of those after studying. I have a whole video on tips on how to focus when you're studying and you can check that out here after watching this video. The second last step, how to plan your time. The easiest time management tip I have for you is to take the amount of time you want to study and divide it by three. Spend twice the amount of time applying knowledge than learning. If you want to study for three days, spend two days practicing. If you only have six hours, spend four of them practicing. Another bonus tip, when you're practicing, let's just say on past year questions, compile all your corrections. My older subbies know that this is one of my favorite and most effective study tips. Compile all your corrections into one notebook or into Notion. Study those before your exam. The last step, before starting a new study session, recap on what you've learned before. Here's how. This is a mind map that I did for organic chemistry that I slowly added to with every topic I studied. Always, always dedicate time to recap or revise on what you have learned previously before starting a new study session. Spending a few extra minutes now will save you hours of time in the future because you don't have to relearn everything that you have forgotten. The quickest revision method is blurting, where you take a piece of paper and scribble down everything you can remember about the topic without referring to anything. Once you're done, revise on everything that you've missed out. But I do prefer the other method of building one mind map and slowly adding on to it as you go through the year. If you've made it this far, comment down below if you're patient or impatient when studying. Check out my YouTube shorts if you haven't already, I started a new series called The Growing Up Diaries where we grow up together besties. Like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell and set it to all so you don't miss out on any future uploads. Thank you for 773,000 subscribers and I'll see you all in my next video besties. Bye-bye.